Vectors and equilibrium, chapter number two, numerical problems. Problem number one: A ship leaves a port P and travels thirty kilometers due north. Then it changes course and travels twenty kilometers in a direction thirty degree east of north to reach port R. Calculate the distance from P to R. Is the free body diagram? The distance travelled in the direction of north from P to A is given as 30 km. Then it changes its direction and making an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal and travels 20 km toward part R. We need to calculate the distance between P and R. First, we will calculate the components of AR vector. To calculate its components x1 and y, we use x is equal to AR cos of theta, which is the projection of this vector AR along the x-axis. We know that the AR is 20 km and the cos theta theta is 30 degree. Putting the values in this equation, we will get the answer as 17.32 km. x2 is equal to 17.32 km. Now, we are going to find the y component of AR vector. To find the y component, we use AR sin theta. Theta is again 30 degree and the AR is given as 20 km. Putting the values, we will get the Y component as 10 km. Now, we are going to add X1 and X2, which will be the total distance from point P to Q, which is equal to 17.32 km X2 plus x1 which is 30 km which is equal to 47.32 km. Now we know the total distance from point P to Q is 47.32 km and the total distance from Q to R is 10 km. Now we will determine the distance from P to R. The distance from P to R is equal to 47.32 whole square plus 10 square whole under root which is the Pythagorean theorem we have used here to determine the distance from P to R which is equal to 48.365 km. To determine the direction we will use theta is equal to tangent inverse y y x where the y is equal to 10 km and the x is equal to 47.32 km. The final theta will result as 11.9325 degree east of north. This is east of north direction. This is east and this is north. So theta here is equal to 11.9325 degree. Problem number 2.2. A certain corner of the room is selected as an origin of a rectangle coordinate system. If an insect is sitting on an adjacent wall at a point whose coordinates are 2, 1, 0 in units of the meter, what is the distance of the insect from this corner of the room? It is very simple. Position of the insects is given as 2i plus 1j plus 0z. Distance of the point V from origin is using Pythagorean theorem again we will get the result as 2 square plus 1 square plus 0 square all under root which will be the distance of the insect from the origin P and is equal to 2.236 meter. Problem number 2.3. The magnitude of dot and cross product of two vectors are 6 under root 3 and 6 respectively. 
find the angle between the vectors. Here a dot b is given as we know that a dot b is equal to a b cos of theta 6 under root 3 and a cross b is equal to a b sin theta which is equal to 6 find theta. We know that tangent theta is equal to sin theta divided by cos theta. Taking inverse on both the sides, theta becomes equal to tangent inverse of sin theta by cos theta. We can directly put these values as 6 by 6 under root 3. Theta is equal to tangent inverse 6 by 6 under root 3 which is equal to tangent inverse 1 over under root 3 and the final theta is 30 degree. Problem number 2.4. A load of 10 Newton is suspended from a cloth line. This distorts the line so that it makes an angle of 15 degree with the horizontal at each end. The cloth line is making an angle of 15 degree here with the horizontal axis and also here. So this angle is equal to this one and is 15 degree. Find the tension T in the cloth line. We need to determine the tension T in the cloth line. Here we will use the condition of equilibrium. Sum of all the forces along the x axis is equal to 0 and sum of all the forces along the y axis is equal to 0. Applying condition number 1, we will split this tension T1 and T2 into its component form as Tx1 and Ty1, here Tx2 and Ty2. Applying condition number 1, Tx minus Tx is equal to 0. This Tx1 is in the opposite direction of Tx2 and this Tx1 is equal to the Tx2. Now, we need to apply the condition 2. Condition number 2 is Ty1 plus Ty2 minus 10 Newton. This 10 Newton is in the y direction downward the Ty1 is also in the upward direction and Ty2 is in the upward direction. The direction of Ty1 and Ty2 are the same. We will add this Ty1 and Ty2 as 2Ty. 2Ty minus 10 Newton is equal to 0 T and 2Ty is equal to 10. To find the y component of tension t, we use sine theta, which is 2t sine of theta is equal to 10 newton, and t is equal to 10 divided by 2 sine of 15. 5 divided by 0 0.255 at 1 is equal to 19.3 newton. 19.3 newton is the total tension. Problem number 2.5. Four coplanar forces act on a body at a point O as shown in figure. Find their results. This is the origin O and the four forces are acting on this point. One is F1, the second one is F2, third one is F3 and the fourth one is F4. Here we will split all these forces into its components. F1 is along the horizontal axis and making an angle theta of 0 degree. So its y component will be 0 because sine 0 is equal to 0 and its x component is ATI. F1 is equal to ATI plus 0J. The force F2 is making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal axis. Again we use trigonometry F2x is equal to 100 cos of theta which is the x component of F2 and is equal to 70.711. The y component of F2 is 100 sine of 45 which is 70.7111 and F2 is equal to 70.711 along the x axis plus 70.711 along the j axis. Now this is F3 which is making an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal again we will use the trigonometry but taking the sign as negative along the y along the x axis because in the this is in the opposite direction because this is in the opposite direction 
minus 100 newton cos of 30 is equal to minus 95.262 is the x component of f3 and using sin theta we will get 55 as the y component of f3 now f4 is 160 newton and is in the third quadrant in the third quadrant cos theta and sin theta both are negative so we will use the negative signs with both the x component and y component using 160 cos of 20 degree is equal to minus 150.35 is the x component and the y component is minus 160 sine of 20 which is equal to minus 54.723 f4 becomes equal to minus 150.35 along the x-axis and minus 54.723 along the y-axis. The resultant force which we need to calculate is equal to the sum of f1, f2, f3 and f4. Putting the values of these, we will add the x components with the x components and the y components with the y components. So the x component of resultant force F will be 90 plus, oh sorry this is oh, 80, 80 plus 70.711 minus 95.62 minus 150.35i plus 0 plus 70.711 plus 55 5 and minus 54.723 along the y axis. The final resultant force will be equal to minus this is uh, this is a mistake. This 90 is actually 80. So we will reduce this term by 10 minus 75.259 along the x axis plus 70.988 along the j axis. Now we will use this relation F is equal to minus 85.259 whole square plus 70.988 whole square whole under root is equal to 110.934 Newton. To find the theta use this formula theta is equal to tangent inverse y by x. The y component is 70.988 and the y and the x component will be uh, 75.259. You will get the final results and the direction will be in the second quarter. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions.